Good evening. I hope you're all doing well. I have no idea when this video will be posted. <laughs> I'm just going to do another recording. Thank you so much for just coming by today and giving me a little bit of your time as well. My name is Kai and it's nice to meet you. I'm a just chatting streamer that plays Genshin the background while I talk to chat. And welcome back. <laughs> Um, this will be one part in probably a series of like six videos where I'm just gonna be pre-recording some streams just because I will be away in the back half of April, but <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll just, we'll just do some quests today and hopefully it'll be fun. Yeah, I'm doing these pre-recorded quests just because I will be away in April and I just want to there to be something for you to watch just like just like the usual stream you know <laughs> thank you i don't know this when this will be posted but for me right now it is the 11th of april the last time i tried to record ito story quest um obs decided to crash on me so um, i lost that recording so unfortunately we will not be able to look at we will not be able to look at ito story quest I'm playing today <laughs> so I we'll just go and do another story quest which I have which I am a little bit excited about the most the one I'm most excited about which we will probably do on a future recording will be Raiden's act 2 but today we will be doing Kokomi and we'll see what happens after the Inazuma war I guess <laughs> the Inazuma civil civil unrest something like that it's up and over. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. My resin just capped. Let me just, let me just craft one. Okay. We'll be working on Kokomi's quest. I think Kokomi as a character. Kokomi as a character is really, really pretty. Sadly, I didn't get to pull for her. But I think she's an amazing... She's good at applying Hydro while she's off field. Because of her jellyfish. I think and the heals are really really good too sadly didn't manage to get her I think my strongest strongest healer right now would probably be Barbara or TT <laughs> I haven't built a Diona yet let's go going to look forward to the story quest this time and thank you so much for coming by again I hope you've not had too busy a day and please make sure to rest lots if it was busy today for you, I hope you'll get lots of rest. And thank you so much for just spending some time on my video today. Thank you. <laughs> for those of you who are new to my channel and me in general, um, my name is Kai. I like to do comfy streams. I'm streaming every other day on Twitch. But for the 18th to the 29th of April, I will be away for, for a little bit just to serve the nation for about two weeks. So I will be back. Pretty soon, I think. And in the meantime, before I'm back, I'll just have these pre-recorded streams for all of you to watch. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for supporting me, even though I'll be away and I already miss you all a lot already. Even though I'm not gone yet, I already miss you all a lot already. So if you're, if you're watching this right now, yes, I do miss all of you a lot. I miss interacting with all of you a lot. I don't think I will be able to interact with most of you. Um, won't be able to interact with you while I'm pre-recording the stream because I have no chat to look at. So most of the time I'm going to be talking by myself. <laughs> I'm going to be talking to myself. It feels like when I just started streaming, which is, I guess it's like a really fresh feeling. It's like a really refreshing feeling, I guess. <laughs> I'm probably going to be rambling nonstop about things I see in the quest. So if you're okay with that, feel free to listen to me. And feel free to drop me replies and comments in the comment section as well. I will try to reply to as many of the comments as possible. Just like when I usually have streams, something like that. So if you'd like to, feel free to drop me comments. I would love to interact with you more in the comments as well. <laughs> Other than that, um, two weeks while I'm away, I will be very active on Discord as usual. And I, I will have access to my phone. And I think I'm going to get kind of lonely. So if you'd like to, you can interact with me on Discord as well. Thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna continue with the story quest. I won't be boring all of you with the with the same talk again and again. I feel like I'm always introducing myself with the same topic. 
<laughs> but yes, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. This should be where Kokomi is it to meet her. Okay. You still remember this place? Actually, not really. It's been a long time since I've done story quests in general. So I don't really know where this place is supposed to be. Is it the place where the Tenryo Commission and like Kokomi's faction faced off or something like that? Members, we came by here last time we visited Watatsumi Island. Hmm. That was back when you did your stint. Oh, okay, okay. So we were, we were, if I remember correctly, we were like a squad leader for like the special operations group of Kokomi's faction. I don't really remember most things from Story Quest, except the more memorable moments, I think. All I know was, yeah, if you've been through the original quest already, then you'll know what happened to Tepe. I think that was probably the most memorable thing about this quest. <laughs> like, memorable thing about the previous Archon quest for me. Like, within Watatsumi Island. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Goro! Let's go. It, oh. Seek their weakness, exploit it. Is he training? Burning their ships is the path to success. What is he doing? Hmm. We can surmise that a fatherly ship is more nearby. Oh, okay. This explains their aggressive posture. Do we have to help them with this? Probably. Whenever it's to deal with the father, it's, it's us, right? <laughs> We're not to split up without sufficient forces. Mm. Based on their movements, they're likely be gone. They'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Mm. Help me arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Oh! <laughs> Here we come. We're the help, I guess. We're like the... We're like the support squad for most of the people <laughs> in this story. Every time we come along, we're like a... Formidable fighting force, I think. It's the end of the weekends over here, and I hope all of you have rested well. Even though I don't know when this video <laughs> is going to get posted, but um, we just went through quite a long week, I think. Uh, this week being, I think, 3rd, 3rd April to 10th April. I feel like most of us have been rather tired, so I hope all of you are sleeping well. At this point in time, like me, currently, at my point in time right now, I hope all of you are sleeping well and all of you had a wonderful weekend too. Thank you so much for just supporting me all the time as well. I know I took a break this week. I'm not streaming today, but I'm recording instead, so... <laughs> Yeah, I will get some rest after these recordings. I will probably record Kokomi's story as well as Raiden's story just for two recordings. I still have about five to do in total. So we'll just work through them slowly. But I hope all of you had a great week and a weekend. And I'll see all of you for streams um this coming week, which should be last week, I think, by the time you watch this video. <laughs> it, it feels weird. I'm talking to all of you in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to all of you in the future. This is Kai from the past. Hello. <laughs> this is Kai about two weeks ago. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what character to save Primogens for from now. Probably Kaza's rerun, I think. Probably going to go for Kaza's rerun. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Though I do want to try and get some copies of Goro and run like a mono geo team though. That could be really nice. Goro has a really nice character design too. His outfit is 
I don't know why there's so much skin exposed, just like Ito, but I really, really like his hair. If there's one thing about Goro, I really like it's his hair. His hair, it's very nice. Like the color, I like it a lot. The, the combination of colors is really, really pretty. <laughs> We will also I haven't I haven't done a single hangout event. So when we get time to, we might work on hangout events, maybe on stream, because I think that could be fun. <laughs> Seeing different sides of the characters could be fun on stream. But the reason why I'm doing these story quests is because I need access to the Hues of Violet Court event, which is currently ongoing. I can't do that yet just because I haven't finished these story i think you can you can skip these stories and go straight to the event but i kind of want to experience everything i do have to make recordings as well so i think this is just the right time <laughs> i think this is just the right time to play the story quests what's your sauce we'll be back shortly okay guess we're just on watch out for now let's help them get this situation under control that's what you say, Prime Paimon, but you're not gonna do anything. <laughs> you're not gonna be doing anything. Okay, let me just one, two, three. Throw this. Okay. Defeat the roving. Okay, there's more. Okay, let's just go for them then. Just gonna burst with Kaza here as well. Oh, is that it? <laughs> We'd have no way to prevent or escape without you. What's that you're holding? Is it directives from Kokomi? This is a whole book. <laughs> Kokomi, I guess she's more of the serious kind of person. Make sure makes sure to write at least one directive for every single situation. Maybe I'm I'm the complete opposite. I'm the kind of person that doesn't prepare for anything. I just go into things head first, <laughs> but then I try to figure out uh, my way while I'm doing the thing, which is really a bad way to deal with things. Sometimes I feel sometimes I feel like I deal with things really badly because I don't plan ahead. And sometimes this gets me really worried as well whenever I'm just diving into something new. <laughs> Do you guys feel the same way as well? These are her general operational directives, like a whole book. <laughs> they make sure we're prepared for every eventuality. Yeah, so I guess pretty much one directive for every single situation. So she's more of the serious type of person. Must have taken Kokomi a heck of a long time, says Paimon. <laughs> Alright, I'm the I'm the squad leader, so they're calling me captain. <laughs> We've all been feeling your absence. Is Swordfish too still going strong? Why is the squad name called Swordfish though? I don't understand. This is like the one thing I don't understand. Like, there's always the joke that Kokomi's outfit looks like a fish or something like that. But even the squad, the squad names are like fish themed. Why? Let <laughs> me just drink some water here. The other day, a old, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line kicking and screaming. Right, after after like the whole Inasuma thing, we've never really understood what happened to them. So maybe they're they're just taking their time dealing with the father. I see like a specter in the background as <laughs> well. Do you know where we can find her, Garo? Oh, so I guess we're going to see Kokomi. It'd be nice to learn more about Kokomi because I feel like she, in the story, she's more of the mysterious type of character. We do help her out, but we don't really learn much about her as well. Unless maybe I missed something. <laughs> maybe I missed something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Have you all finished this quest as well? I recently finished Aito's story quest and that was pretty fun. It was pretty long. It was pretty long for a story quest. 
but I think the story was really interesting. Something something about marriage, something something about people making use of the situation or something like that. I don't know, but it sort of showed how Ayato is very protective of his own family and he's just really confident as well when dealing with like matters which are sort of political in nature i think yeah he's really confident in some parts although i find him really annoying though like the his voice lines when you're exploring is a little bit frustrating because he he will say things like oh you need this chest or something like that <laughs> i just i need the primo gem yes i'm poor <laughs> I suspect there's trouble of it. Okay, sure, I'll see what I can do. I was just thinking it'd be good to see everyone again. Rip Tepe though. <laughs> no. Okay, I guess we're going off to find Kokomi. Ah, this is the start of the quest. I thought we started already. I hope it's not gonna be too long. I don't think I can do... I don't think I can do story quests that are too long. I feel like I would have to split it into two videos maybe. Else the video is gonna be like... Else the video is going to be like 1 hour and 30 minutes long. Like my Raiden. <laughs> like my Raiden video. Aren't you Captain or Swordfish too? Yes, yes, it's me. <laughs> Have you all had swordfish sashimi before? I do have to say this. I, I had swordfish sashimi yesterday. I went to eat sushi with my friends, my streamer friends. And we we really like this swordfish sashimi. It's actually really good. So if you had salmon sashimi before, you'll know that it has sort of like a mild taste. It's not too strong on your tongue or something like that. Swordfish, in comparison, is really, really strong. It's very fatty, and the taste is way, way stronger. But because of that, it's really, really good. It's not something that everyone can get into for sure, but do try it out if you get the chance. I think swordfish sashimi is really good. Yellowtail sashimi is also pretty good. <laughs> but I think, I think swordfish has the better taste, something like that. Do try it out. It's really, really good. I had Japanese cuisine with my friends yesterday and I think it was really really good. It's my first time eating out with my friends in a very very long time and I'll probably have to yeah I will be going back to army camp in about two in about one week so I think eating out is probably a good idea because I'll be stuck eating army food for quite a while. <laughs> I'll be stuck eating army food for quite a number of days to come I think. Speaking about food, make sure to eat well everyone. If you're watching this, it's probably about 1040, 10.48 for most of you I think. 10.48 my time at least for most of you. I hope you've all eaten dinner and please make sure to rest lots tonight as well. I hope your day wasn't too busy please make sure to sleep lots tonight mm -mm. especially if it's in the middle of the week i have no idea when i'll be posting this video um okay let's try to actually pay attention <laughs> what i do know is that as long as her excellency is with us watatsumi island is safe mm. i'm just wondering how I'll do my commissions when I'm in the army. I will have access to my phone, but I probably have to charge my phone a lot. I have to probably bring like a power brick. <laughs> I have to bring like a like a portable charger. Yeah, let's see. Ask the soldiers for information. Okay, so we're just talking, talking to each and every soldier. Oh, he's sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. Peace at last. Living the dream. Don't I know you? <laughs> Do you need something? <laughs> he totally forgot about us. I hear people are feeling unsettled at the moment. I haven't noticed anything. Hope you're not sleeping on the job. <laughs> I keep to myself mostly. They're all too rowdy for me. 
We're at peace now, finally, and I, for one, intend to make the most of it. My life right now is about two things, and two things only, the sun and the sea breeze. He's such an easygoing guy. <laughs> this one's such an easygoing guy. I guess that's like a good thing, to take life at your own pace. <laughs> I'll tell you something, someone you can ask though. Sangano Miya, she knows everything. Okay. He seems like he's about to fall asleep. <laughs> Let's leave him to rest and go find someone else to ask. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's more soldiers. Oh, we're just going to be, probably just going to be talking to a lot of soldiers this one. Isn't this the vice captain? Or something like that? I mean, peace talks? Give me a break. Why would she agree to that? I mean, you're called the rebellion, but you don't have to constantly be rebelling, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Everyone knows he can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fadui and plan to continue their attacks. But they changed their leader already, so I think it should be okay. I think it should be okay, at least from what we've seen last last video last recording where the the heir the son of like the previous 10 year old commissioner he stood up or something like against raiden and he had he he was pretty strong in willpower i i think he he would be like a good leader i think it's fine <laughs> Some of our guys had a run-in with a few father they caught them conspiring together firsthand mm. someone's coming it's me <laughs> yeah if i remember correctly this guy is like the vice captain or something i'm here to join you at the victory feast uh let's pick the second one just for some dialogue. Do you think we should tell the captain about what we were discussing just now? <laughs> She's one of her closest advisors. For all we know, the peace toss could have been her idea. No, no, I don't know anything. I'm just coming here to party. <laughs> I'm just coming here for the victory feast, I guess. Welcome back to Watatsumi Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Kinda sus. <laughs> <laughs> You're being kind of sus. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Okay, I guess we're going over. I want de definitely detected some hush hush going on there, but if they aren't going to talk, we might as well head over to the village. Okay, let's go over. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oops. <laughs> Messed up. A Boro village. Ah, more, more soldiers. There's so many conversation scenes in this one. We know you've been secretly supplying the Tenryo Commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? What if he's just an innocent guy? I'm innocent. That's, that's not what innocent people say. <laughs> You're as guilty as they come. You never should have been allowed to set foot on this island, let alone do business here. Take him away. No! Wait! Oh! Oh! Kokomi! Her eyes are so pretty. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the Inazuma characters have really, really pretty eyes. Yamiko, Kokomi, Toma, and Raiden have really, really pretty eyes. Something's going down over here, you should take a look. This merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seize him for questioning. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases but no sales, and yet he has no stock in his position. We believe it's highly probable that he has been supplying the Tenryo Commission behind the scenes. Uh, are you? <laughs> He sounds kind of sus though, the merchant. <laughs> a brief with me? Man, she's really calm. She's really, really calm. I was surprised because she seemed like more of the serious kind of person, especially from what we see, we, we saw from Garo just now, the book and everything. 
She's really pretty though. Her outfit when it came out for the first time. I liked her outfit a lot. But it is also pretty revealing. <laughs> the belly button area. It's like a belly button window. <laughs> Why is that a thing? She has a really nice outfit though. Her outfit does look like a fish. I think like this this part, this little cape part at the back, looks like a fish's tail. It looks like the tail of a fish, yeah. I like the sleeves a lot though. The the colors are really nice too. It's like a... It looks like water? Aqua? Kind of like night sky kind of look. Really, really pretty. I think design-wise, I really like the character. But if she did, like... If she was, like, a DPS character, I would definitely be pulling for her. <laughs> I think the main reason why I didn't pull for her was because I pulled for Raiden. And after Raiden was completely broke, I didn't have a single Primo gem left. So I had to skip her banner. I skipped her rerun as well, just because... Yeah, I didn't have Primo Gems. I rolled for a Yaimiko and I just didn't have any more Primo Gems for her. Which I feel a little bit sad about. Hopefully she comes back sometime soon so I can maybe pick her up. Because any any Hydro character that does Hydro application off field is really amazing. Just for setting up elemental reactions too, something like that. I'm a trader on the island so nat naturally I've... Built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then I was robbed by the father. Oh no, they took everything. Think about that. First I lose all my inventory, then I get treated like a criminal. Okay, let's help him get his goods back, I think. We ran into some father. That's the first I've heard of it. What's that gotta do with me? What was his goods anyway? Yeah, what was his goods? What kind of goods did he buy? <laughs> Seems unlikely to buy one. We met a representative of the Kujo clan recently. It doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. Well, on the way over here, we accidentally on purpose overheard some soldiers mention the exact same thing. Kokomi, do you know anything about it? Has been brought to my attention, yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Tenryo Commission soon. Amisato clan has arranged for them to take place in a neutral location. Oh, she's going to Inazuma City? Oh, so she's gonna going to be talking with Sarah. Maybe we'll see Sarah in the story quest too. <laughs> Allegedly, their goal is to completely wipe out Watatsumi Y Island. Mm. We will retrieve your goods, and if everything is in order, it will prove your innocence. Do you have an understanding? Okay. I can't. I can't stop looking at her model. It looks so good. Her her character, like just the look of it. Looks so so good. The outfit, mainly the outfit. I also have, okay. I I don't think I think most of you know already, but I have an unhealthy obsession with ponytails. I think they look just really appealing. They look really. What is the word for that? Um, <laughs> I think they look really really pretty. <laughs> Swordfish platoon section 2. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. I'll <laughs> just pick the first one. <laughs> Look forward to seeing how you've progressed lately. Okay, let's go. Alright, follow me. 
Okay, we're going to hang out with Kokomi for a little bit, I think. Go to the temporary Vadui camp, 200 meters away. Okay, I guess we're, I guess we're going to teleport there. <laughs> Hope all of you have finished your bounties and requests for the week though. Make sure to at least do your bounties because bounties plus requests combined. I think it's about 150,000 150, Mora which is really really useful. Especially if you're short on Mora. I definitely need to top up a little bit because upgrading Ayato's talents recently has made me, has made me a little bit broke. <laughs> This must be the fatty cam that the merchant was talking about. Looks pretty heavily guarded. How are we supposed to get in? The terrain here gives us an advantage, and we haven't given away our position so far. I think we have three options available, says Kokomi. Option 1, take the king and its checkmate. The Fadui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present, nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard pressed to put up a serious fight. Oh. Why would you just have like explosive things in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Why would you have explosive things inside something you want to protect? I This is something I, I've never understood in games. Why are explosive things in like your base or something? <laughs> it would deal them a devastating blow. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both the morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the area is very humid. I can gather the water vapor. You can add a touch of lightning, and together we can shock them into submission. That is... That is exactly what my team is supposed to be. Electro-charged teams are so fun to play with. <laughs> just because you get to see all the electric ticks from the electro-charge just bouncing around the enemies. That will depend on our assessment of our own abilities. Surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution but requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle, but absolute stealth would be required during the operation or we'd risk exposing ourselves. Mm. Surprise air raid because I like... I'm the kind... In games, I'm the kind of person to just go in. <laughs> At least for Genshin, I think. For Genshin, I just like to use my characters and just just completely destroy the enemy. <laughs> okay, let's, let's fight this one together. I'm no warrior myself. I can still provide some support. Yes, please provide me with heals. Though I do have Barbara though. Okay, we'll go in with Yaimiko. Where's the leader? Okay. Hello. Oh. oh. Okay. Ooh, the boxer is very annoying. Boxer is kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, do I have? Oh, I need heals. I need heals. I think the I think Yaimiko's pillar went to destroy the explosive barrel. Wait, is there still enemies? Oh, there's one more. Where is he? Oh, hello. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Excellent work. All thanks to your genius tactics. Actually, even the best tactics live or die on the strength of those executing them. Hmm. She's more of the tactician type of character, I think. Paimon did make a pretty big contribution. <laughs> you didn't do anything. <laughs> you didn't do anything. 
I'm just going to just read most of this. I won't be reading everything out. Because if I do, I think my voice is really going to go out. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be resting my voice today as well, so I'll try to take it easy. I'll probably read the things that are said by side characters more, I think. If the merchant story is true, the inventory should be here. Okay, let's look for the goods. Should be this, I think. Fathery food supplies. Wait, does, doesn't... Oh. Wait, doesn't this mean that guy is sus? Wait, so he's lying to us. Wait, we tried to defend him. Something wrong? Her ponytail is so pretty. <laughs> I keep looking at it. I can't. I can't. I have an unhealthy obsession with ponytails. Oh, essential for post-war recovery. He's probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. Oh, so this guy... This guy thinks about profits more than actually helping people. So this guy, even though he... I don't think he's helping the Fadri, he still has some pretty questionable intentions. <laughs> also, my unhealthy obsession with ponytails is also the reason why I have... I have like a ponytail on my character too. Though my character is originally gender bended from like an original character I had in a game. I used to play that game for about 7 to 8 years. I played that game for such a long time. It was called Fantasy Star Online 2. I don't know if most of you have heard it <laughs> heard of it before. It was a really fun game and I think I was as addicted to that game as I was Genshin just because it felt good to constantly improve your character, constantly improve your gameplay or something like that. I tried to do that with this game as well in terms of artifacts, constantly trying to get better artifacts for my characters. Because it feels good to make the characters you like strong. <laughs> Does that make sense? I like making the characters I like strong. Even though the Kaza's build is a little bit hard to improve on because getting elemental mastery pieces for Verdison Venera sets is so difficult. It doesn't feel right, says Paimon. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. That's good. It's unlikely he would ever have under, ended up in this predicament. Mm -hmm. Still completely stunned. Low energy doesn't exactly help. Wait, she's low energy? What happened? <laughs> I was thinking the time of the month. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um... <laughs> There'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. Okay. Then we attend the feast. Of course, you're thinking about food, Paimon. <laughs> it's like a normal thing for Paimon now. It's normal to expect Paimon's going to think of food. Um, let's see. We have to. Let me just pick the artifact that dropped on the floor. We have to go here. Okay, I'll just teleport up there and then just walk my way over. Yeah. Hope your week is going great and feel free to just come by the Discord for a little bit of a chat. I think I will be super lonely not being able to stream for about two weeks. I feel like I will be super lonely. And if you would like to come by to just have a little bit of a chat with me, that would mean a lot. And for those of you who are here, I hope the stream is helping you out too. Hope my voice is able to just be good background noise for you while you're playing a game. Or maybe if you're just...
doing your work as well. I hope my streams, like this pre-recorded stream, I hope it can help you out. My goods, you got them back. Thank you, Captain. I told you I was innocent. You could have easily planned the whole thing with the father in advance. We've recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. No, it's okay. You were just doing your job. I think it's okay. Okay, then this guy starts to be cocky. Okay. <laughs> Hello? I'm afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but hoarding essential goods is a crime under the temporary decree. You must bear the consequences. So I guess Kokomi take Kokomi give from you uh, give you but Kokomi also take from you. <laughs> Uh, in addition to enforcing the sale of these goods at the of the rates, there will also be a fine, the amount of which... Oh. Whose side are you on here? I have no business taking sides. Oh, she's the divine priestess. I actually didn't know that. I wasn't paying attention during the Arkham course. I think for me, with Tatsumi Island, most... I was trying to finish it as fast as possible so I could do the Lantern Rite Festival or something like that. <laughs> I think I might have rushed the Archon Quest just a little bit too much. You may have been proven innocent of the more serious allegations leveled at you, but this does not exempt you from bearing the consequences of your mistakes. Oh no! I'm sorry dude. <laughs> it has to be done. Take him away. Time to pay up. <laughs> In the end, it's all about the money. <laughs> he says all the goods belong to him, but it doesn't add up. Oh. Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his, but not the rest. Especially these ones, they're clearly for shrine use. The Fadui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. Uh, I'll leave you to sift through and try to track down the owners. Something is going on between the Tenryo Commission and the Fadui. Please keep an open mind. I wonder how long this story quest is. Because so far we've just been talking to soldiers and merchants. Looking forward to learn more about Kokomi, I think. <laughs> I think that will be more interesting. Uh, why don't you come along for the walk? I guess we get to talk a little bit like this. Hey, look at that ponytail though. That's so pretty. Okay, let's just zoom in for a little bit. We're just walking along with Kokomi. She's so pretty. The way her outfit moves while she walks is just so, so pretty. We're all like koi's, right? You know, like, uh, <laughs> I think I discussed with most of you and we came out with the name of koi's for all of you in my channel, something like that. <laughs> I think she, I think her outfit looks like something that resembles a koi. Just that maybe the color is a little bit deep, I think. You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. It was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogunate do. Oh, shrine was abandoned. Relations between the Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistrust has become deep-rooted over time. 
I've been hoping to erase all this at the peace talks and discuss it properly. Grievances have to be let go eventually. Mm -hmm, that's true. You have to, to reach an agreement, you need to lay everything out on the table, I feel. So when both sides are accepting of each other's things, I think that's where you can only reach an agreement or something like that. Oh, have you guys worn, have you all tried wearing a yukata before? I went to an inn before. I went to an inn in Japan before and I had to wear a yukata to... Have I talked about this in a previous recording? I, I don't really remember, but uh, on the yukata, this is this was the design. <laughs> this is the design on that yukata. I don't know what it means. I think it's just meant to look like waves because it was blue on the yukata I wore. That was like the first time I wore a yukata too. It was like at a hot springs inn. It was a really good time there though. That was like my first time going to any form of hot springs and it felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> the water was warm and everything. It felt so, so good. What brings you out this way on your busy schedule? Oh. Low energy? Is that what, they, what, what she said earlier? You need to take better care of yourself, okay? All of our fates depend on you. Well, Tatsumi Island is also really, really pretty. It reminds me of... Sort of like an underwater fantasy kind of land, you know? <laughs> like a place where you would find maybe say like mermaids and stuff. I feel like Watatsumi Island just has that kind of feel. Oh, I haven't, haven't picked up that, whatever that was. Go do that later. After all this time fighting the Shogun's army, peace is not something that can simply be declared. I guess everyone thinks about things in a different way. Some are, some could be accepting, some could be like totally against making peace with like Tenryo Commission, maybe. We should remain strong in these negotiations. We mustn't be too ready to compromise. Be sure to proceed appropriately. Her eyes, that close up really just showed off her eye color, I think. Like the Kokomi's eyes are just really, really pretty. I feel like her character in general is just pretty. Oh, who is this? Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Shrine Maiden Selection. If she makes it into Sanganomiya, I'll be one very happy mother. Your kind and gracious leader, she'd be in very good hands. She must make the most of it. What's with the whole shrine maiden thing in Watatsumi Island? So I guess um the shrine would be sort of like the authority on the island, I guess. Because uh, right now, Kogomi is the Shrine Maiden, right? So I guess she's leading like the whole island or something like that. I'll look out for her. Mm. Oh, 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 who are these? Oh, everyone's coming. <laughs> everyone's coming to talk to Kogomi. Agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit this year. Let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation. I think she's probably feeling low energy just because she has to deal with so many things at once. I guess because she's more or less the person who makes all the decisions on this island, it's taking a toll on her, I think. Oh, here you go. More problems. Will she be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? No, I'm sorry. I, I travel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm called the Traveler for a reason. I'm going to be just exploring wherever I want. I probably need to explore the chasm soon. Have you all explored the chasm yet? I've been watching my friends do exploration in the chasm and it does look pretty fun. So I'm looking forward to that too. Not too sure about the mobs, the rune serpent. Not really looking forward to that one. <laughs> a little bit scared of that one, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, your excellency. Oh no. 
She's she's tired. She's definitely just tired from just work. I'll get around to all your queries. Though for the longer ones, I prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the shrine. I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. You chat with the friendly people alongside Kokomi. Yeah, she's feeling tired for sure. No, are you okay? Hello? <laughs> this is testing my patience. <laughs> okay, I'll be I'll be nice and go if I'm fine. Your Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation we're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, okay. So I guess that's the stuff we recovered it. You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I feel like everyone just respects her a lot. Yeah, everyone just really respects her a lot. Because she's pretty much leading the nation. Like, she's pretty much leading, like, her island by herself. Which is crazy to think about. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I could ever be, like, in a position of huge responsibility. I feel like I, I crumble for sure. I think... Like, just, just leading, like, a group when you're doing group work in school for assignments or something like that. That's, like, that's, like, my maximum. I don't think I can go above that. <laughs> I'm not too good when it comes to leading people. Though, though I don't mind stepping up to that kind of position. But um, at the same time, I feel like I, I would get super overwhelmed. So you definitely need some people. You definitely need people to help you with things. Because I don't think you can... Yeah, definitely you can't do everything by yourself. Right now, two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you, but it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. She gives me... She sort of feels like Ayaka for me. Like, Kokomi, Kokomi and Ayaka have sort of like the same feel. Then we'll go and make preparations for the victory feast. To <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> Just to be clear, we're talking lots of delicious food, right? There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties which I'm sure you'll enjoy. <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> I can't stand Paimon sometimes. <laughs> okay, rumors abound. Let's go to the next part. Her secret. Wait until... 10 to 12 the next day okay let's just zoom zoom forward in time 10 to 10 to 12 10 wait 10 10, 10 in the morning 10 in the morning <laughs> not sure why i went for not sure why i went for like 22 hours <laughs> let's go to 10 a.m okay what do you all think of 2.6 are you excited or are you having fun with Hues of the Violet Court event? Do you think it's fun? I have not done it yet. I am sort of looking forward to it because I think the thing I'm looking forward to the most in that event is Theater Mechanicus. Because the last time, the last time and the first time, I think the last time was the first time I played Theater Mechanicus. I missed the first one during the first Lantern Rite Festival. And Theater Mechanicus last time, the, the most recent one before this one, was really really fun just because i liked making really ridiculous builds out of the out of the pillars <laughs> my favorite one was the was the normal attack one the one that that did physical damage the one that shot arrows you could convert the arrows into like a homing bomb or something like that i think it was called a chaos orb or something and that was just really fun to just rain down the enemy it was really fun to play with <laughs> Hopefully we'll we'll be able to do something like that this um event. Though I did hear that they're going to make it a little bit more simple. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Hope you're all enjoying the event though. Oh, oh no, Kokomi probably not feeling too well. 
She doesn't seem like the type to show up late to things. Let's wait a little while longer. After some more time... Why is she still not here? You think she could be in trouble? Let's go ask that soldier over there. Oh. What happened to her? Are you looking for her excellency? I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. I don't know where she's gone. Guess we should call it a rain check then? What does this even mean? What does calling it a rain check mean? Yeah, that's one phrase I don't understand. I'll probably, probably go look this up later on. <laughs> if I recall correctly, do you guys like rain though? Whenever it rains, it makes me feel very sleepy. It makes me feel a little bit sad for some reason too. So I would say I'm okay with rain. I'm okay with rain. I, I like it just because it makes the weather a little bit cooler, especially in Singapore because we're like a tropical country here. We always have about temperatures around 29 to about 32, which is horrible recently. It's been super warm recently. I hope all of you will, if you're listening to this right now, please make sure to drink some water, okay? Number 98. Should a visitor from afar come to see me? And should my whereabouts be unknown, direct them to proceed southward until they arrive at a tree with purple foliage. Has made no communication regarding her whereabouts before disappearing and even then only when the visitor in question is off VIP status. Um. <laughs> I guess we really have like a role for everything in her book. Keep this directive on me at all times. I'm sure this is the right course of action. Okay. Kokomi really does think of everything. Okay, let's find a place she wrote about and have a look. So we're supposed to... Uh, I kind of forgot. <laughs> we're supposed to look for a wall. Something, something... Was it a tree? I don't know. We'll, we'll just go to like the designated location. 70 meters. Oh, okay. So it's like a tree. Like a purple, purple tree. Purple foliage. I think that's what they said. Are you sure this is the right place? It feels like we keep heading deeper into the middle of nowhere. Hey, am I supposed to? Oh, do I touch the tree? There's a way in over there. This? No, no, this is like... Yeah, that's like an artifact. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, there she is. Oh, it... <laughs> This reminds me of Albedo's, like, little hideout in Dragon's Find. Kokomi. Oh, no, she's resting, I think. She's sleeping. Come on, shut up. She's sleeping. <laughs> Let her sleep. No! You woke her up, stupid Paimo. <laughs> Apologize, I'm not feeling my usual self today. It's just my energy is completely spent. <laughs> Paimo. Please. You mean you're like a rune guard? It's just a figure of speech. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I can't always be infinitely capable person. Be the infinitely capable person I present myself as. Yeah, everyone was asking so much of you yesterday. I haven't quite mastered the ability to hide how I'm feeling. I'll keep working at it. You don't have to though okay to just trust the people around you. I'm not really cut out to be a leader. At first, my dream was to read up on military strategy and perhaps become an advisor. Constantly communicating with people, trying to retain their morale, having to read between the lines, making sure everyone gets the recognition they deserve. It's such hard work. You're somehow supposed to make people feel wonderful just from being in your presence also commanding their respect. 
doesn't come naturally to me. Yeah, these are these are topics which I feel would be really foreign to most people as well. I feel like uh me as a person, I just try to live I try to live life day by day. I don't really don't really think much about things. Like I don't really think too much about things, which is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> the more the more I talk about about myself, the more I feel like just unconfident and just happy go lucky. <laughs> I don't know. Truth be told, it's something I never wanted for myself. But because of my bloodline, I was always going to end up being the divine priestess sooner or later. Like it or not, it's just the way it is. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I come here to just lose myself in a book and relax for a while. That's good. At least you're taking a break. For those of you listening, if you're really busy with school, please make sure to take breaks, okay? Very, very important. Yeah, make sure to take care of yourself. The more you're the most important, your body is the most important. Please make sure to definitely get lots of rest. Mm -mm. I handed over preparations for the victory feast to someone else. The peace was hard won, and I want them to feel at ease. I, feel, I should be feeling energized enough uh, again soon if I hold off on work for a little longer. No, time to find a book and read to cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're like library buddies. We're like library buddies. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's pick that one up. Look at all these petitions. Sankonomiya events cash flow statement. Consolidated annual report on fishing production. Watatsumi Island monthly maintenance expenses breakdown. <laughs> it's no wonder she gets burned out from time to time. Let's track down that book and help her feel like herself again. Okay. Guess it's not that one. This really feels like Albedo's hideout. <laughs> Could this be the book? Secret notes. Today I spent the entire afternoon arguing with representatives from the Merchant Association. Energy minus four. Oh, <laughs> many things must still be settled. Today I finished a day's worth of work. Energy minus three. Uh, wind is very strong outside. Energy minus two. This is like her diary, I guess. <laughs> but instead of like um dates and like experiences it's more of like what happened on the day how much energy she feels like she depleted or something like that news of the peace talks reached us today energy plus two energy minus five we re received word that the tenro commission might be colluding with the father oh no surfish two captain came back today oh this was just yesterday <laughs> energy plus four we tacitly agreed not to speak of tepe yeah, rip, rip Tepe. <laughs> oh no. Lots of people spoke to me again today. Energy minus three. So yeah, this is sort of like her diary, I guess. Swordfish Captain came back today. It's me. <laughs> They're talking about me. That's, that's just, um, <laughs> she's being embarrassed. We saw nothing. If we did, it was all Paimon's fault. <laughs> Give it here. <laughs> I guess that was the wrong one. <laughs> That's so cute though. That is so cute of Kokomi. I guess all the... Ayaka's... Yeah, she's really similar to Ayaka because Ayaka also really likes the Traveler. It's gotta be this one, right? Yukakai? There's even a bookmark. None of the other books have one, so she must have finished reading those already. It's pretty dense. <laughs> Paimon doesn't understand a thing. Of course. You only understand food, Paimon. Mostly understandable. Let's take it over and read it to her. 
Okay. I'm not sure actually. Could you read a bit out loud? Attack where the enemy is weak. Emerge where the enemy is blind. Oh, isn't this the one uh, Garo was reading at the start of the story quest? That's the one. Thank you. Okay, I guess we're reading. You read Kokomi, her favorite military tactics. Oh, she fell asleep. Oh no. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, her falling asleep is probably for the best. No, why would you choose the second option? First option, if you can't see it, let's let her rest a while. Second option, let's wake her up. Of course, let her rest. She's so tired already. Yeah, we'll 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 do the we'll do the preparation for the victory phase and maybe like the speech if anything. <laughs> it's fine. I'm I'm good at just pulling stuff out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm good at Thing, random things by pulling things out of nowhere so we we can do this <laughs> guessing guess there's still some time to go too all right let's keep her company while she rests but she's even sleep talking work this is really bad yeah please please don't be like this everyone make sure to rest whenever you can yeah very very important body is the most important Things are slowly getting better. Did you see? Oh. Is she thinking about maybe say her family or people important to her? What time is it? Did I fall asleep? <laughs> Have our characters just been standing there for the whole period? You've been out for ages. It's nearly time for the, fe the feast. Can't believe it got so late. That's gotta be three whole energy points right there. How does she calculate like the energy points? You know what it feels like? It feels like it feels like Pokemon. <laughs> it feels like Pokemon because you know um Pokemon they they have battles right and then they lose HP. They go to the Pokemon Center then they get healed <laughs> something like that. It almost feels like Pokemon for some reason. It's been a long time since I played Pokemon though. What was your last Pokemon game, everyone? I think mine was Emerald, which is at least 10 years ago. At least 10 to 12 years ago. And I'm not really too familiar with all the po the newer Pokemon. I think after the Hoenn region, <laughs> I can't remember anything after that. That was like Gen 3 or something. Yeah, my favorite Pokemon... It's gotta be Magnemite. <laughs> Favorite Pokemon is Magmite. Not because not because of its attacks or anything. I just think I think it looks cool and cute at the same time. Magnemite is super cute. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a little bit uh mecha, but it it looks really cute too. Because you know, sometimes I think in the cartoon, when it smiles or something, it has like the close eye smile. Super super cute. We better get ourselves over there. It's nearly time to light the bonfire. Is it like a campfire kind of thing? <laughs> Victory feast. Have you all had campfires before? It's actually really fun to just eat food around like a fire or something like that. Barbecues. Sort of like a barbecue, I guess. Sort of like a barbecue, but you get more of that ambience if you have like a campfire or something like that. When's the last time I had a barbecue though? It's been a long, long time. Do I kind of want to eat Korean barbecue? <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking of food again. <laughs> I'm thinking about food again. Maybe I should, I think tomorrow afternoon, I'll try to go out and get some food again. Since I'll be, since I'll be going back to army, like going back to the army in a week, I'll just be there for like two weeks or something like that. It's a yearly thing for me. But before I go back, I'd just like to eat some good food because I'll be stuck eating camp food for a long time. Okay, bonfire. Oh, this looks almost exactly like what I had in secondary school. I was in uniform groups. It's like sort of like Boy Scouts, I guess. 
but it's not really Boy Scouts. It ha it served like a police cadet kind of thing. So it's like you learn you learn how to do marching drills. You you learn how to how to do like craft. I think you use ropes and tie structures or something like that. It was it's pretty fun. And every year we'd have like a campfire, something like that. We just sit around and maybe sing songs and do some presentation. Like just just have fun. Like just have fun activities like that. Campfires haven't had a campfire in such a long time. It's okay, it's nice when you spend it with good friends, I would say. I haven't went camp I haven't been camping before though. Have you have you all been camping before? <laughs> I feel like camping would drive me insane just because <laughs> I, I don't like getting stung by mosquitoes and for some reason I always get stung by mosquitoes whenever I'm outside in the wall. It's like my friends would get like maybe one or two bites. I get like them all over my body or something. And then it'd be super e itchy. I keep trying to scratch or something, which is really bad. Yeah, please don't scratch your bites. It usually ends up with a scar. It's not good. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted from the course. <laughs> but yes, this is usually me on my streams. If you're new to just my content in general. I try to do comfy streams which help you relax at the end of a long day of school or work and just want to make your day just a little bit brighter with some conversations. So if you'd like to, if you're new to the channel, feel free to come by anytime. Um, I mean, my, my channel on Twitch, feel free to come by anytime. I stream every other day and yeah, I do talk a lot randomly. Even though usually whenever I'm on stream, I have chat to talk to. So the topics are usually less random. Compared to today, today I'm, I'm just randomly talking about things as I play the quest. I don't know if this is a little bit too excessive, so you you can all let me know in the comments <laughs> or something like that. Also, I think for YouTube, most people, they do edited videos. So the video is sort of like concise and short and sweet, something like that. But for me, I think the videos on my YouTube channel will be long. They're going to be long. They're going to be unedited. They're going to be just unedited, unfiltered as all. Um, half of it is because YouTube is probably going to be very casual for me. I'm just going to upload videos now and then. And I'll just store my archive videos here as well, like archive streams. I'll just save them here on YouTube from time to time. Especially if I'm not just playing Genshin and talking, something like that. But yeah, I want it to be sort of like a casual thing and I want to be natural during the stream. I want it to be something you can just click on, like a video you can just open and leave in the background while you listen to me talk and you can probably work on something else or leave me in the background as like background noise or something like that. Yeah, my videos can help you out. Feel free to just come by anytime you like. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope this um I hope this pre-recorded stream has been helping you out so far. Thank you so much for coming by. I will be back from ARMY pretty soon. So just wait for me just a little bit. I haven't the me right now hasn't been in there yet. Hasn't went back yet, but uh, the you listening right now, I will be back soon. Yeah, and I do miss you a lot already. So yeah, hope to be able to stream for you. I will be coming back during the weekend, but I don't know whether I'll have the energy for to do a stream. So if I do, if I do have the energy to do a stream, I will let you all know and we can, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a chat on maybe Saturday, I think, Sunday? Saturday, Saturday, probably Friday or Saturday, Friday night. I think it's Friday night. Yeah, I'll be back on Friday night. So I'll have to go back in on Sunday, Sunday night. I have to go back by Sunday night. So I'll just have two days off. But if possible, I would love to stream on Friday night if I can. Let's see how it goes. None of us can know what the Inazuma of the future will look like, but tomorrow I meet with the Tenryo Commission for Peace Talks. I give you my word that I will strive for peace for Watatsumi Island once and for all. Ooh, ooh, this character's, this NPC's outfit looks really good too. Yeah, 
Truly, it is only through those efforts that we have been able to prevail in this trying war. This feast is held in honor of, honor of each and every one of you gathered here today. I hope all of you get to relax and enjoy our hard-won victory. Hey, let's go, let's eat. <laughs> what do they have for food though? Like the victory feast? Do they not show us? <laughs> Oh, the night seems to have gone off without a hitch. I'm so glad it's all going smoothly. People tend to be more open when they're in a good mood. Could I ask you to go around and see what information you can gather, Yukikai? Oh, we're still... Even though we're celebrating, we're still gathering information. I mean, she's serious, but I didn't expect her to take it this far. <laughs> okay, let's go look for information then. I guess the story quest ends after the peace talks. Okay, talk to the nearby crowd. Oh. Oh no. A friend of mine was really looking forward to this feast. Not like this. This is getting a little bit dark. Oh no. I guess we have to just talk to everyone. Okay, I'm just going to just just go past this really really fast uh, i guess we can't talk to this group okay uh we can't talk to this group either this group maybe no mm. ryoko oh okay okay ryoko and iwata you'll always be a hero here <laughs> yes going to travel everywhere iwata I do hope the future will be free from the trials and tribulations of the past. If every day can be as happy as today, that will be a blessing. Wait, so who am I supposed to talk to? Oh, oh this person. Okay, okay. Uh, here I... Let's see what he has to say. It's all thanks to Her Excellency Sangonomiya. What's new? Anything to report? The biggest thing for us is that we can finally get back out on the ocean to fish. The open sea was full of warships, we just had to make do with what little fish and shrimp we could get our hands on closer to shore. Mm. We all, oh no, when the catch wasn't good, we all go hungry. We go to bed ravenous and tossing and turning all night long, trying to keep it together until the morning. At least things are finally improving now. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Thank you for your service. Here, have a fish. <laughs> it's freshly caught, so it's a bit uh fishy. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. Her Excellency always teaches us to repay kindness with gratitude. That's nice. Okay, let's go talk to others. Talk to the nearby crowd. Oh, Kawasawa. Care for some fresh fruit and vegetables? <laughs> What's new? Anything to report? I've heard rumors, but nothing too detailed. Mm. See that guy over there? Oh my god. Hello? He's been acting strange these days, always shouting and waving his spear around when he's got nothing to do. He scared the heck out of me a few times. <laughs> I guess he's a little bit too serious. But I think like being vigilant is good, but he might be overdoing it a little bit. May as well go talk to him. Okay. Let's go see what this guy's deal is. <laughs> okay. Investigate the suspicious soldier. <laughs> Yo, bro, you kind of suspicious here, though. <laughs> His name is Kozen. This guy smells of booze. Oh, did he drink a lot? Don't tell me. Captain or swordfish, too? That you abandoned the platoon and made a run for it? <laughs> wow, rude. <laughs> Do you remember what the most important thing is to the resistance? A warrior's will. I gotta put you to the. Are we fighting? Dude, he's drunk. 
gonna take him out. Gonna gonna bonk him, bonk bonk him hard, make him lose consciousness, <laughs> or something like that, so you can actually stop this nonsense. <laughs> Answer your questions, but only if you can beat me in the duel. Okay, you bring it on. <laughs> sure, we're hardly gonna lose. Oh, we're fighting as Lumine. Okay. Come, I'm gonna dodge. <laughs> I'm just flexing on him now. <laughs> we're just, we're just toying with him. We're just toying with him. I can test my ability to dodge attacks as well like this. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe a little bit too early, but... It... Since we're here, might as well just do some damage to him. Stagger. No. Oh, I got hit by that. Okay, okay no more playing around. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Wait, he doesn't get picked up by it. Oh, it did so much damage to him, though. Just because he got stuck on the card? <laughs> you really do have a warrior's role, then maybe you can understand this. Will you join us? First you need to tell me what's going on. We made it up. The story about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the father? It didn't happen? What? Poor Kokomi's been worried sick. You're telling us you made the whole thing up? That's exactly what we're hoping to achieve. No, why would you do that? Everyone's been drawn in by the idea. That's why the future of Watatsumi Island is at stake. What's to stop the Tenryo Commission from stabbing us in the back? What's to stop the Raiden Shogun from issuing another Vision Hunt decree? Or the resistance? Everything hinges on our warrior's will. We can't trust the Tenryo Commission or the Raiden Shogun, but we can put faith in ourselves. Surely you agree with that? This point does kind of make sense, but something about it doesn't feel right to Paimon. What it boils down to is you just want to fight. Are you seriously willing to make up a wild rumor and ruin the peace everyone's worked so hard for, all because of some imaginary situation that might not even happen? <laughs> He's scolding Paimon. <laughs> we embodied the warrior's will to the fullest. You understand? We were all in. Now they're suddenly telling us, trying to tell us that none of it matters anymore. I mean... That's what happens in like stuff like this though. Yeah, probably thinking about the people they've lost along the way. Especially because there was like that whole fatherly thing and the delusions as well. Rip Tepe again, but <laughs> oh no. Every time I see them there in my mind's eye, it reminds me that I can never forgive the Tenryo Commission and never forgive the Vision Hunt Decree. I guess you're not one of us. Well, whatever. Go ahead and tell Sangonomiya if you want. But you're too late to stop us now. Oh no! What are they going to do? Please don't tell me they're going to set up like an ambush for like the peace talks or something. That's gonna be really bad though. Tell Kokomi, let's go. Report the truth back to Kokomi. Also, I am wondering if... If Kaza... Kaza is currently like a ronin, right? He's like a wandering samurai or something like that. But what if... If he was part of one of the commissions or maybe say Watatsumi Island as all, well, where do you think Kaza would be in like these five islands? Would he be like a Yashiro commission with Ayaka and everyone else? Or would he be with the Tenryo Commission? Which would be like right in Shogun's side. I don't think so, right? Because they sort of fought. Or would he be like part of like the Hiragi clan or something like that? Or maybe part of Watatsumi Island. Or maybe just a inhabitant of maybe Seirai Island. Or I don't think he would be part of Tsurumi Island. But it's like, I feel like he would belong to like Toma 
Thomas, yeah, like the Yashiro Commission and like the Kamisato clan, I feel. <laughs> I don't know, just things to imagine sometimes. Kaz is such a precious character to me, you know. I just wish there was... I wish it was possible to learn more about Kaza. Like if he got his own story quest or something. Or maybe maybe he got like a hangout event or something for himself. That would be really, really fun. Yeah, I want to learn more about Kaza. There's so many things we don't know about Kaza. The only thing I know is that he's with Beidou. He's like with Beidou's pirate. Uh, like the... Beidou's ship and stuff. Are you feeling all right? She's so pretty. Look at her eyes. So pretty. If only I perceived what they were feeling earlier, it never would have come to this. Don't blame yourself for it, though. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They're responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities tomorrow during the negotiations. Yeah, that's really bad. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. Mm. Not to mention that we have no idea how many of Watatsumi Island's soldiers are involved in this plot. Sounds like a really tricky situation, says Paimon. Is there really nothing we can do about it? What's done is done. Night falls to me to devise a counter plan. Okay, we're gonna meet here tomorrow. Victory feast. Speaking of fe feast, I am a little bit hungry. <laughs> it's currently 3 a.m. for me, 3 07 a.m. And I'll probably go get something to eat after this recording. Then after this recording, I think I will do one more recording. I think I'll do Raiden's Act 2 right after uh, I eat. So <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll be looking forward to that. But you can all look forward to it on another day. I will probably post the video, the recording for Raiden's Act 2 on another day. So if you'd like to watch me go through that one, yeah, please feel free to look forward to it. And I hope it will be interesting so it can keep you entertained while I'm away in an army, in the army, I guess. Yeah, probably going to be one of my six pre-recorded streams, Ride in Act 2. Kind of looking forward to it too, because I really enjoyed Ride in Act 1. So Ride in Act 2, hope it will be amazing. Wait till 10 the next day. Oh, okay. So we have to, we have to go like 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just wait for it to tick down then. Yeah, I'm going to be recording Raiden Act 2 after this. Hopefully this story quest isn't too long because it's already been... This video is already 1 hour and 30 minutes long already. I think this is pretty long already. So the, the, next, the next video we make, I'll try to keep it shorter. I will try not to drag things out for too long because <laughs> I did get a little bit distracted by things and I ended up talking a lot. <laughs> okay, here, take this. Some directives I wrote last night. 187? Yeah, she's really serious. This is huge. <laughs> this is Paimon. <laughs> There's so many, but you've thought of a solution to each one. Paimon suddenly feels a lot less nervous. Any amount of dissatisfaction within our ranks weakens our negotiating position. Mm. Would you be willing to lend me a hand? Of course. 
Aren't we friends already, Kokomi? <laughs> She's so pretty though. Um, go to the peace talks, which will be on Tatarasuna. All the way down on that island. Why though? I guess they decided to meet halfway. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like when you go out with friends, you don't want to go to one end of the island or the other. Usually you meet somewhere in the middle, right? <laughs> I think this is what it feels like. Okay, 200 meters away. Let's just slowly drift towards it. Yeah, it's been 1 hour and 30 minutes, so it should be, for those of you in my time zone, it should be around 12, 12 a.m. for you right now. 12 a.m. midnight. Make sure to go get some rest, all right? Mm -mm. It is getting really late now. Thank you so much for just keeping me company, even though it's a pre-recorded stream. And feel free to drop me comments. Yeah, I will try while I'm in camp. I will try my best to reply to every single comment. So feel free to just drop me comments. I'll be looking forward to them. <laughs> you can have a little bit of a chat in the comment section too. Get a peace talks. Oh, Kokomi and Sarah. I believe the last time we met was on the battle for you. <laughs> Why are you doing here? I'm, I'm, I'm a neutral party. <laughs> Sarah's really pretty too. I like her eyes a lot as well. I feel like a lot of the characters in Nazma just have really, really pretty eye colors. It's like pretty, pretty eye details as well. During wartime, we restricted fishing rights for Watatsumi vessels in Narakami waters. We intend to remove these restrictions, but going forward, any of your vessels that fish in our waters will have to pay taxes in accordance with Narakami legislation. But if they're paying taxes, they should also be entitled to protection from the Tenryo Commission while in your waters. I can assure you that your vessels will be quite safe in our hands. That's nice. Our people have been subjected to lengthy, lengthy interrogations on arrival in Watatsumi. Same has been true for your people on arrival to Narukami. This negotiation is good though, because it's going to be way better for both sides. Propose that we have the Yashiro Commission appoint a business council to oversee trade between our two islands. <laughs> Travelers just posing in the background. ちゃぶ行に完全に委ねることはできません。だが私の知る限り、渡津美島は現在、あらゆる種類の物資が不足している。物資の不足については、こちらが対処します。ご心配なく。それに、渡津美島は資源が豊富なため、ましてやこういう
Wait, what happened? Not the last one? Hold off for the moment. あなたたちはよこで待機してください。ご安心を。あなたたちの思いは理解しています。後のことは私に任せてください。九条さん、このことについて我々は辰巳島に説明をしていただけませんか？Wait, what happened? Huh? <laughs> Wait, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I know they're standing off, but why is this like Sarah's side now? Huh? Wait, I don't understand. What is, what is happening? <laughs> those two? What is up with those two? Were they the ones who planned everything? Oh. Oh, Wink from Kokomi. That was super cute. Collusion with the father? Is this true? Wait, so it wasn't just a... Yeah, it wasn't a story, right? Because the Tenryo Commission... Something, something colluding with the father. For the... What was that again? I can't remember. Wouldn't I exactly call it collusion as such, says Sue Yoshitak. We approached by a few fathers. They mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. We didn't agree to anything, we just said they could maybe start by heading to Watatsumi Island and stirring things up a little, and we'd see how it went. It's just a one off conversation. Oh. Should be having no interaction with them whatsoever. Sarah's really, really cool. I hope we get a hangout event for Sarah. That would be really fun. <laughs> I've also seen so much shipping of Sarah and Ito as well. <laughs> I think they're pretty cute. Ito's just... Yeah, Ito's something else. The few who approached us seem like they wanted to settle a score for their boss. I think they're by that woman just now. They were probably referring to what was her name again? It's the it's the lady we had to fight. I forgot her name. <laughs> the one that uses uh Cryo Empire. I kind of forgot her name. Oops. <laughs> But she got defeated by Raiden, though. Oh, therefore, not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. Mm. Seems like Sarah's on the defensive now. Yeah. Calmly complete the follow up negotiations. Never knew the grand strategist of Watatsumi Island was a skilled negotiator as well as a formidable commander. I hope that when we meet again, we can continue these sit down discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. Yeah, Sarah's just... I don't know. I feel like Sarah's... I, I think I said this on stream before when I did um, I did the Archon quest. I think Sarah's just... Really cool. <laughs> really cool and I think she's more of a good person than anything. Because she let us go the first time. She let us go the first time when we were uh, just trying to save, I think, Yoimiya's dad. Yeah, 
相手に感づかれないようまずは彼らに従い現れたところ考えておくでは私はこれで I shall take my leave now until we meet again 我々は私に島に戻ってからにしましょうあ<笑> She's so firm Which is a good thing I think it's like an important quality for a leader I never knew this part of the map existed as well. Is this is this a prop for this story quest or has it always been here and we just never noticed? Maybe maybe it's a prop. I think it's a prop just for this quest. I think I would have noticed it just going around for the electricalist. So this video is getting a little bit long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> please make sure. Yeah, if you've been watching since 1030, please make sure to go get some sleep when you can. Very important because it's getting pretty late now, I think. 12 should be like 1210. Your Excellency, you, you knew? <laughs> so to sabotage the peace talks and reunite the war. The end result exposed and thwarted a secret 10 real commission plot. If this was purely incidental, and the ends certainly did not justify your means. But if you're going to continue, aren't you going to lose more comrades like that though? Stop! Why are you so childish? Think about the bigger picture. What are you doing? I want ultimate victory even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. Why though? We simply cannot impose your will and expect others to bear the consequences. Based on nothing of the countless others who will remember the war quite differently, most people suffer terribly through each day. But Tatsumi Island's people yearn for peace because they have long since given all they had to the war effort. They're tired of treading water, don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. The fault is not yours alone. I thought you to nurture a warrior's will but never how to let it go. At least they're listening. At least they're listening. That's a good thing. <laughs> We're ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Oh. oh, they're, they're gonna be the secret core? <laughs> Let's go. Neutralizing any and all threats to the peace of our island. You and your comrades will be all welcome to join. But be warned, the training will be grueling. Mm. It's good to have like a specialized security force too. What are you saying? But we must still retain a defensive capacity. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to hear from any of you again until all of you can take on two shogunate samurai at a time. Go and report to General Garo and remember there can be no more insubordination. There will be no more leniency from me next time? <laughs> what are reasons you may have? This story quest, it was kind of long. I, I have to admit, this was kind of long. It wasn't the most interesting for me. I would say for me, in my opinion, this wasn't the most interesting story quest. But it was... Okay, I'm just glad that everything end, ends up well and we get to see like a cute side of Kokomi. <laughs> we'll report to General Goro right away. Goro is so cute too. 
Hopefully I'll be able to do his hangout event soon. I've heard so many good things about Goro's hangout event, so we'll try to do that on stream sometime soon. You can feel my energy levels starting to drop. <laughs> Meet you back at the hideout for some rest. That's cute. Like just sharing like a hideout together. That's super cute. <laughs> super, super cute. I'm glad she trusts us enough to share like her weak, weak times of like weakness with us. I think that's super cute. Oh, we're not going inside the hideout, we're just standing here looking at the island, I guess. But Tatsumi Island just looks really, really pretty. Thank you for everything. With your help, peace has been restored on Watatsumi Island once more. How are your energy levels? <laughs> I should be raring to go before too long. I think I might get Goro to handle the negotiations next time. <laughs> you did an admirable job. In the past, I was concerned only with winning the war, restoring peace, and making sure everyone could li live a happy life. I realized now that wasn't going far enough. People have all kinds of aspirations and just as many measures of happiness. I have a long way to go, but that's okay. If I can't make the journey in one giant leap, I'll just have to settle for taking it one small step at a time. This is usually the case for most things in life, I feel. Just take things slow, don't go too fast, and don't get discouraged when you can't make it the first time. Something like that. Very, very important life lessons. I guess we're learning, we're learning from the story quest. <laughs> In short, I've still got some maturing to do. Could you stay here on Watasumi Island to keep me company for a while longer? She's exactly like Ayaka, super cute! Exactly like Ayaka, loves the traveler. <laughs> I want to say loves, but like, trust the traveler a lot. And really, really fond of the traveler too. Super, super cute. I guess that's it. Yeah, that is it for Kokomi Story Quest. That was... Pretty cute. I like seeing Kokomi there. <laughs> I like seeing Kokomi in the story quest. It was pretty fun. And yeah, I think this will be it for me for this recording. It has been one hour and 40 minutes. It's been quite a long video. I actually wanted to just do videos which were about one hour long, just so I won't keep you guys away for too long. And just so I don't drag it out too much as well. Something like that. Um, next recording, I will probably go really fast in the story quest. I probably won't be reading as much of the dialogue as well. So next story quest, we will be doing this one, Raiden Shogun. Raiden Shogun's Act 2. So we're going to be looking forward to this one. <laughs> uh, I also have Ito's to do. Um, so when we have time, I'll do three of these, maybe on stream or something like that. But for the next recording, we'll just do right in Act 1. Uh, Act 2, sorry. Looking forward to it because Act 1 was really, really enjoyable for me. <laughs> okay, that will be it for me today. Thank you so, so much for just being here. I hope you'll all have a wonderful rest of the week ahead. And this is me about two weeks in the past talking to all of you. But yeah, future all of you. The the all of you in the future, I hope you'll have a wonderful week ahead. Please make sure to get lots of rest tonight, okay? Very, very important. And do drop me comments in the comment section if you'd like. Um, you can talk to me on Discord as well. I will be very active on the Discord server, I think. And other than that, just have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful rest of your night. For those of you who, for whom it's still morning, uh, have a good day ahead. I hope you will have a good one. I hope everything will go smoothly for you today. And for those of you hopping off to sleep, please have a wonderful day tomorrow. I will see you all really soon. Um, knowing me, I should be posting this around Wednesday, 20th April. So I will see you in about maybe say two days. If I have energy, I will stream on Friday night, I guess. If I don't, I will probably have to post another pre-recorded.
stream <laughs> if it's okay with you guys i might not be streaming too much during these two weeks but i miss you all a lot and i hope to be able to talk to all of you on stream as usual soon thank you so much for just being here i really appreciate it and if you're new to the if you're new to me in general um feel free to follow us on twitch after the 29th of april i'll be going back to my regular streaming schedule so you can pop by for a little bit of a comfy chat and chat session every other day thank you so much for just being here i will see you all again soon bye bye <laughs> bye 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 i just put my stream Oh, oh, hit the wrong one. No. Okay, I hit the I, <laughs> I hit the wrong scene. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Have a good night, dress. Bye bye everyone.